walk in the studio, Dre introduced himself, Dr. Dre. I'm like, man, I know you, Dr. Dre. He pressed play. The comp became on. Now everybody serenade the new faith of Kendrick Lamar. This is King Kendrick Lamar. King Kendrick and I meant it, my point intended is raw. Fix your lenses, forensics would have told you Kendrick can't kill it. Pretend it's a massacre and the mass is upon us and I master being the mass. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Kendrick Lamar. It's Compton. It's TDE. Right here. I remember that shit sounding so loud. Like to this day, it hasn't been not one studio session that can match a Dr. Dre studio session. I felt like it was my time. He was like, you got something to this? I, like, I definitely do. You know, the hook was already there, so I just need to come with some real raps. That song's about my city, so from knowing where I was at five, six years ago in Compton to being with somebody that birthed Compton gangsta rap, I knew I could draw from all type of emotions in that studio session. California Love video shoot, Tupac and uh, Dre. My pop seen them first, they was coming from the Compton Swap Meet, and they was in um, Bentley's, you know, driving down, and he spotted them. My house was like two minutes away, he went and got me. By the time he brought me out, see your people, man, they was watching, you know. Pac was right there, he was in the passenger seat, Dre was driving, a whole lot of police escorts, Pac yelling at the police, making sure he don't scratch the front of his car. I didn't know. Back then, I was gonna be around. I wanted to play basketball like every other kid, wanted to be like Jordan. But now that I'm here, I think that very moment I always played back in my memory, some way, somehow. And through design, it led up to me being an artist and being a rapper. I was influenced out there, and I'm sure a lot of them other kids was influenced out there. Not just to be a rapper, but you know, some of them may became doctors, or, you know, lawyers, or whatever you know, feel is success for them. You know, they got inspired that day by seeing somebody they knew on TV in their neighborhood. My main inspiration, and mind you, I come from a background where we play music, you know, every day. My parents party. I was the only child that was young, that was in Compton, and then they had fun. The main thing they played was gangster rap and oldies. That's my main influence. Anything on the West Coast, from DJ Quick, EZ, to Dre, to the Dog Pound, uh, Tupac, going back. You know, to the oldies, it can flip all the way to the Isley Brothers, Temptations, Luther Vandross, Marvin Gaye. I wasn't conscious of it, but the whole time I was sucking all the music, you know, musical influences up. Musician involves an instrument. Consider my voice as an instrument. You know, different tones and different melodies. Artist is somebody who can actually create and structure things and have a mental note on how what type of colors, you know, is drawn from this song while I'm writing it, you know, in order to paint that picture like I want to. My pops is really proud of Compton because he come from that area, that era of gangster rap, you know, so he know what it was like, you know, coming up with the Jerry Curl with the hat, you know, the khakis on, so it bugs him out, you know, him and Drake can share the same memories that happened back in the city. It just trips him out, you know, to know that somebody that him, my uncles, and older cousins listen to years later, 20 years later, I'm in the studio with him. Take no shit, 